Hello, I'm back with another tutorial about Windows 7. Um, one thing is, um, uh, I want to show you how to uninstall it completely from the system. Um, there's a lot of things you can't do with it in virtual PC. It limits you. Uh, people tell me to format my hard drive and um, reinstall Windows 7. I'm going to want to get me another hard drive and reinstalling it. But uh, to totally successfully uninstall Windows 7 out of your system, is you're going to go to uh, open up virtual PC. And if you push start, it's going to open it up so that you can boot up like a regular computer and log into Windows 7. What you're going to want to do is hit remove. And it's going to tell you that you have chosen to remove Windows 7. But it don't, uh, it removes it from the virtual PC console. It don't, it, it will not delete it from the list uh, from um, your computer okay so I'm gonna push no because I don't want to install it uninstall it back now we're going once once you hit remove what you gotta do is you gotta go to documents and in your documents you're gonna take and find a folder called my virtual PC my virtual machine what's in that folder is Windows 7 which is a uh, Windows 7 hard disk VHD which is 6.23 gigs of space and the uh, virtual machine setting file 11.9 kilobytes you, you can delete that whole folder right there right click on it and delete and that's gonna give you a gig space back on your hard drive if you don't if you don't remove it from your documents also if you go to try to make a new virtual machine and try to call it Windows 7 it won't it tell you that this one already made in Windows 7 it's because even though it's not in virtual PC it's still in your documents um I don't know what's going on but HBev will upload like a 7-8 minute video and have enough space but now since for some reason I can upload less than 5 minutes since it's over 1 gig so hopefully this will uh go through okay uh, please subscribe to my videos and um, thanks for your support. Um, I'll be updating y'all about Windows 7 again when I do delete it and reinstall it on a different hard drive. If you have any questions, please let me know. Any comments about my videos or any suggestions, please let me know. And you have a good day. Thank you.